One of the uh, frequent problems that we run into is the old issue of the torque wrench and how to use it. We sell these torque wrenches all the time in our little CPS toolkit. Uh, you've seen them in our flyers, things like that. And hey, I grew up around torque wrenches and I thought I knew how to use this thing. Guess what? I was wrong. Um, it's kind of, you would think, intuitive and self explanatory. There's a set of numbers that runs up and down on the shaft and a set of numbers on the handle itself. If you were looking real closely, you can see they run from 10, then you'll see an 18, a 42, and on up the dial. So at first thought, you would think, okay, if I need 10 newton meters, because that's what we're torquing to, you would turn this little zero here on the handle to the 10 on the center shaft. Yeah, well, it's not that intuitive. That's wrong. <laughs> uh, you actually need to line the 10 up with the 10, so keep turning your dial till the two tens come together. That's 10 Newton meters. So if you needed 12, you'd go 11, 12. Now your two lines up with the shaft. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now your two 18s will line up. And keep going as you start to spin this. When your two 42s line up, you're at 42 Nm. Uh, so not quite what most people expect. And please understand that it probably feels a lot lighter than you would think. Most people are trying to torque on this as hard as they can. Not necessary. When the wrench breaks over, you're good to go.